Arctic is changing. The North is undergoing climatic, ecological, and socioeconomic changes that will continue into the future, affecting people in and outside the Arctic. Understanding how the Arctic will change, the implications for Arctic communities and humans from all around the world, and how to best respond requires innovative approaches for exploring the future. Scenario planning is a powerful technique for doing that. Scenarios are plausible stories about the future and how it might unfold. These stories can help people explore and prepare for opportunities and challenges that might arise in the future. With scenarios, we can explore future uncertainty, focus on a few plausible futures, and explore what they mean for ecosystems and societies. We can also better understand what people want for the future. Scenarios can combine different types of information, from climate models to indigenous and local knowledge. All this information helps explore trends and understandings of what is and will happen all around us. We used scenario planning in Cambridge Bay as part of a research project in the Kitikmut region of Nunavut. Our goal was to explore how future changes might shape the region by 2050, especially climate change and seascape development. We also explored what people want for the future of this Arctic region. Knowledge gathering started in 2017 and culminated in a participatory scenario workshop in March 2018. In the year before the workshop, we conducted community surveys, interviews and focus groups to understand how the marine ecosystem is important to the community and what changes in the ocean are most concerning to people. Overall, more than 100 people contributed their insights to the project, telling us about their concerns for the environment and their ideas about how to address them. On March 13 and 14, 2018, 17 participants convened for a two-day workshop to develop scenarios that built on all the ideas contributed by the wider community. The workshop brought together Inuit community members, managers and scientists, each with their unique expertise to contribute to scenario development. Workshop activities combined science, art and storytelling. Participants were split into three groups that each explored different trends of climate change, seascape development and governance by 2050, and what they mean for ecosystems and people. I really visioned the future for my grandson. And that's all I kept thinking about was my grandson, my grandson, and what a good future I wanted to have. Well, you know that before when I saw that we were going to have to do art, I told you I was a little bit terrified because it's not my strength. But then I really liked the process of using the collage, the pictures, um, to tell the story and present our whole vision and, and our scenario and all the things we had come up with. There's three different groups and each group had different scenarios. So, you know, that brings out uh, the best in everybody is to uh, uh, your input um, dictates what's showing on, on, on the kind of work that we're doing. We encouraged participants to create positive visions within potentially challenging future conditions, to explore how to be proactive in developing strategies for building resilience and even thrive in the future. Positive visions were inspired by existing Arctic initiatives that are already making positive and sustainable changes. During the last workshop activity, each group designed a sequence of concrete actions that could be taken between now and 2050 to get to the hopeful future visions they had created. 
For instance, increasing education opportunities in communities was seen as an important priority. This could be by developing on-the-land programs to train Inuit youth in ecosystem monitoring or through cultural schools in all communities. Many ideas were also provided on how scientists could develop more partnerships with community members to monitor the changing ocean and address community concerns in their research. Um, to me, all of it is uh, very interesting, but there are a couple of points that I found really interesting. Um, one of them being uh, um, possibly cutting down on, on uh, the ship, shipping the cruise ships. Everybody's enjoying the workshop. I really enjoy it. And, you know, I like the group and that's uh, lots of information we got. I never heard before, so I'm really pretty surprised. Well, I found the whole process really helpful, that people came together from all over, all different ways of knowing. Um, we didn't even know each other yesterday morning, and here we came up with so many great ideas for the future. It's all very interesting. It's all targeted in, in uh, building a better future um, in our marine, in our shipping industry. And for me, it, it's, it's all positive. I mean, you know, for the better betterment of, of the North. One of the things I think is exciting is that we came up with positive, practical things that each of us can do and each of us that we can work toward accomplishing. And I really enjoyed uh, listening to other people's views and uh, some of the work that needs to be done. Yeah, I think that the, the most fun part during the workshop was to share our thoughts, our ideas of what could happen here in the North and to, to share with Inuit people what, what is their perspective of the Arctic and how they see themselves in 30 years from, 30 years from now and uh, well, based on their different background and ours. In, in our land, or, you know, how to protect our beautiful land because the Inuit are known to live off the land, they love the land, they respect it. It's part of their life and the sea. It's part of our life and we want to protect it for years and years and years to come. It's a great pre group of people to work with, all interested in, and sharing input freely is the really positive part of it. Well, I hope that um, workshops like this continue and let's just keep, keep doing this. Um, it was a great reminder for me of how much is already happening in communities and how much um, desire there is and enthusiasm. So let's make it happen. If it's not in my lifetime, it'll be in the future a beautiful future. Make it a better, happier, healthier future for the Inuit. That's what I wish for, yeah. This new scenario approach explores Arctic futures by building on existing initiatives that are already contributing to a sustainable future. We hope this can inspire and help others who want to use scenarios to foresee possible Arctic futures. Looking ahead can help us prepare and build consensus around decisions that will foster resilience and contribute to Arctic sustainability. My name is Marianne Pallardo, and this scenario project is part of my PhD research at McGill University. The research team is also composed of Dr. Elena Bennett, my PhD supervisor, and Dr. Chiara ratzep -Hearn. We are extremely thankful to everyone who contributed their knowledge and insights to this project. None of this would be possible without you.